with Yoga by Jackie. I'd love for you guys to meet one of my longtime, most beloved students, Judy Green. Hi. So, Judy, I know. <laughs> Take a year. I know, right? I knew it earlier today. Well, I didn't know, like, where, yeah. So, I guess I'm just going to ask you, um, you know, maybe how long you've been doing yoga. Um, what's the benefit you found from yoga? And just whatever comes to mind. Okay. My this is for the people of the right world now. that are going to benefit from yoga. <laughs> okay. This is for the people of the world that will benefit from yoga. <laughs> okay. Ready? Go ahead. Take two. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Jackie. We're here with the Yoga by Jackie show on American Hearts Web TV. This is one of my longtime students, Judy Green. She's such a love and a joy to have around. And I wanted to just have her share with you some special things that I think are very important. Judy, welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here and I'm honored to be here too express my appreciation for everything that yoga has taught me and everything that you have taught me um, and yeah. exploring mm -hmm. and, and deepening my uh, exploration in yoga. Yes, yes. Um, we just clicked when we met and I think there's a reason you meet people and um, Judy has always expressed throughout her practices just how much she has gained from this physically, spiritually. Um, so how long have you been doing yoga, Judy? A while before yeah. we met. Yeah, probably a year before we met. Cool, cool. With another beautiful teacher. So um, you gravitate towards just positive things that are necessary in your life. And I would say if you're passionate about trying something, you know, you might try even different people. Different people vibe with different teachers. So um, that's just something to explore always. What I mean is don't get turned off by anybody's class and not try somebody else's if you're interested in it. Everything's not for everybody. However, yoga is for everybody. Yes, indeed. So is there anything um, physical that you would like to share that has been life-changing or beautiful for you from yoga? Absolutely. I... You're so strong and flexible and conscious in your practice and I feel like um, your body really appreciates that. Is there any part of your body that feels different? Physically, for yes, you? much better. Absolutely, everything is better. Everything works together now. It's Yay. a, a <laughs> yoking between the spirit, the soul, the body, like you said, and it's been life changing, and it's been very um, encouraging for me to benefit and to alleviate pain from the body that has occurred and it's been an, uh, a practice that a has practice changed that is, is positively uh, necessary in my life. Right. Yes. I totally agree with you. And for anyone who's suffering from pain, emotional distress, uh, depression, Anxiety. wants to feel the anxiety. Anyone that wants to feel better within themselves would experience much appreciation for yoga. Oh, I just smile every time I see Judy and I'm sure you are too. How can you not? So, um, is there a favorite pose that you have? A pose that you like that just makes you feel good? I'm sure there's a I would have that. to really think about that because there are quite a, a number that everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's hard to, to, to break it down to one pose. 
Mm -hmm. If you, we're not going to make you do it, but if you were to do one right now, what would you just want to do in the middle of your afternoon? Lie down on the floor and, and uh, appreciate the balancing of my body that you enlightened me to, oh, yeah. to experience. Uh, yes, just these techniques. The awareness of your body, breathing, tuning inward, breathing. loving yourself, searching for that balance through the breath. It's not the mind. So don't worry if your mind is not ready. Yoga is for everyone. Just breathe. As long as you're breathing. You're absolutely right. Breathing mm -hmm. makes so a beautiful. huge difference. It's really beautiful when people choose um, peaceful poses like that like a quiet, relaxing shavasana, corpse pose, which is the goal is partially just letting go completely amongst with staying in tune, but or a child's pose. It's not what you picture when you picture yoga. We're in a pretzel on one finger balancing. This is something everybody can do every single day, anytime, to find yourself in tune. And Judy, is always an incredible student because it sticks with her and it is a practice. You don't do it, learn it, and be done with it. It's a practice that is ongoing and the more in tune we get, sometimes we find more. And then we have to go deeper. We have to go through that as well. But it's a really beautiful thing and um, you'll also meet positive people when you involve yourself in your yoga community or if you just go online and find those positive people as well. I'm lucky enough to have you as a neighbor right down the road. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's also enabled me to um, accomplish daily tasks without um, enduring days of pain. Mm -hmm. It's enabled me to correct postural uh, and yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I experienced some whiplash, and it has been extremely beneficial for that. Yes. Extremely beneficial. Yes. And now Judy also works with horses, and when she was um, speaking with me one time, she told me how she was practicing yoga on the horse and sending her energy to the horse and feeling the horse and being patient and present with the horse. Yeah. Yeah. That's so beautiful to me. And um, I admire you and I think a lot of people do. I know they do. Well, thank you. I admire you <laughs> so much. Oh. You're an incredible instructor. You've taught me so many incredible benefits in life beyond the classroom and your uh, awareness of uh, intelligence and, and sharing with me what books to enlighten my knowledge have been very beneficial. Yes, we've shared a lot of books, a lot of awesome books, and I will share them with you guys too as you've seen some of the readings um, that we've done so far. But Judy's used to those, they normally come at the end of a class. Yeah. But the bigger books, if you really want to get into some things, um, and also I can send them to you if you do want to contact me through yogabyjackie.com. Just click contact and ask me some books that I might recommend, most coming from my teachers, beautiful books um, that, again, are good for everybody. Physical body, energetic body, mind body and blending as a union, yoking. Yes. Well, I love you, Judy, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you You're so a special much. friend. Thank you. I appreciate you so very much, and thank you for everything you've taught me. No, oh, I was just going to say, you've always been my teacher as well. And so much more to learn. Yes. Goes both ways. So, good night, you guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Namaste. You're watching American Hearts Radio MTV. No, God bless America. <laughs> <laughs>
Mahatma Square Lama. Prepare for the awakening. It is now. Enlighten your mind. Yes, the square. It is the power. You remember the dots upon the forehead. You remember the pyramid power. Now it is the square for your forehead. Apply the square on your forehead and prepare to enlighten your mind. Yes, the doors of your mind will open and you will see, you will feel. For a dollar ninety-nine, enlighten your mind. Order your square now and be part of the awakening. Hey everyone, join the Mahatma Square Llama Club. Be part of the awakening today. Send your dollar ninety-nine, check our money order to American Hearts Radio, 4970 Monroe Smith Road, Jacksonville, Florida, 32210. Tell all your friends, enlighten your mind for a dollar ninety-nine. One square fits all. Well, howdy, how y'all doing today? I'm Tommy, and I got my square. I'm Brian T. Shirley, and I've got my square. I'm Jeff. I got my square. Man, the square just wants to make you. Square dance. Open the doors of your mind and get your membership card in your forehead square today. Only a dollar ninety-nine. Yeah, there she is waving at you right here on American Hearts Radio. We're bringing all kinds of things to the children. You know, we had benefits and things of that sort, and now. Jacqueline here is going to give us a little insight on how we could bring the effects of yoga, mm -hmm. right, yeah. to help children. You know, a lot of them are in pain, and it's that inner thing that we need to bring out to fight the diseases, cancer, and other things that inflict our poor people that are just smaller than us and are trying to get along in life. Jackie, what can kids do? I know you've worked with a few in, in the past, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell my people out there how we can bring yoga into their life. Yes, well, um, it's wonderful that yoga is entering the schools and um, just becoming more accessible, mommy and me classes, and so this is a great way to not only move your physical body, but like you said, to deal with um, many different things that children have to process and go through. And so this differs, of course, from baby yoga to a five-year-old doing yoga and just keeping that open heart and love for life and things like that, being able to let things go or learning how to maybe be more patient and look inward. See how that is true? And you know, in the past here on the Batman show, we showed how amazing kids came from the inner spirit and did things be, that helped the world, right? And yoga is the same thing. It's not only but physical, but it is mental as well, right? Yes, yes. It's the spirit of things. Yes, yep. Um, breathing is something we all do, and to turn your attention inward to that and to be able to slow down from what is always going on and happening around us is beautiful, especially for kids. Um, there was a picture I remember seeing uh, if every eight-year-old on the earth meditated and so on from there, the world would be a very beautiful place very soon. <laughs> well, you know, the Batman has a calm about him right now right and the spirit is within me you know, to do good out there in the world and here on American Hearts Radio Web TV we try to promote that and now we're bringing in a new show on our web television network with Jackie hey. yes and we are just happy to have her in our family and we know that a lot of you out there turn to American Hearts Radio for a lot of your entertainment. And now, right, we can present Jackie to you as well. 
kids can do it, parents can do it, families can do it together, and um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing, you know, and this goes all the way up to teenagers, which, you know, now we're talking about even more stuff to deal with in life, uh, maybe even from your pre-high school, like 12 through 18. So that can be a wonderful time to find a way to do yoga, whether it's um, a class that you go to or there's this online, different things that you can do online. Find what works for you and stick to it. Talking about online and things of that sort, right? Let's give a little promotion here to Jackie. We're on location here in Panama City where she teaches yoga to in a custom way. She customizes the program and yoga for your particular needs and we should if you want to contact Jackie you can buy yogabyjackie.com or beachyogajackie at gmail.com let's say that one more time for our viewers yogabyjackie.com or beachyogajackie at gmail.com Yes, yeah, so this is not your, just like your ordinary exercise program. Jackie here customizes the yoga program right for you. So you will not only be rewarded bodily and spiritually, but fun as well. And you know that's a three letter word that the <laughs> Batman deals out a lot, huh? Uh, okay. Fun. That's right, Batman. <laughs> hey, Batman, I had a question for you. And? Well, I was wondering if that yoga stuff would help with uh, kids are getting bullied. Well, uh, you know, like we had said, right, the yoga brings in a spiritual thing, right, so that means that you will be able to deal with all kinds of situations in life, right? Yes, yes, and I think, um, you know, bullies aren't good, but bullies like a reaction, and yoga prepares you to respond throughout your day just by those moments you had breathing and, and listening to your body moving in the morning in quiet uh, without reacting. So you respond without reacting. If we react, sometimes that gives the bully more to work with. But yoga kind of doesn't feed into that negative energy. You know you're bigger than that. You know you're brighter than that. You know the truth within and you're a more calm, centered person from the breathing and the reflection. And then if you do this until you're 90, you can still do cartwheels and <laughs> jump around as well. You know, I've seen the oldest yoga teacher in the world that just hops around. She doesn't use stairs or a walker or anything. <laughs> Holy yoga, Batman! <laughs> well, you see, now in situations, right, the calm, the norm, the thinking it through, okay? All right, all right. Now, you know, the bad man is not completely flying with the yoga yet, right? We have just a little taste of it, you know, a spoonful out of the dish, okay? But we like what we got so far and we're going along with it. So we really want to encourage you to tune into Jackie's show, right? It's not just an exercise program thing, right? It's got a little bit of everything for everybody. I definitely agree. Thank you so much for that, and I hope to see you guys in the future. Oh, you shall, right? And being here on American Hearts Radio, you know that Batman doesn't have guests on his show, right? And so this is a first wow. a star. Oh. We're so happy, oh. Batman, to have Jackie on the show. Hey, Jackie, yeah. tell everybody how it, how yoga. Can, can, can really help the kids and how they can get started. Well, one thing you could do is ask your school if they could start a program. There's many times a teacher can come to you in your classroom, 30 minutes, you get to get out of your chairs and stretch and breathe and have a little bit of fun too and relax. It's Sounds awesome. like nap time. It now, kind listen, of is. <laughs> the very know, last pose is much like taking a nap. So you could ask the teacher, but after the pose, you feel energized and you feel a little better for the rest of your day. Um, besides that, you could talk to your parents. 
about a class in your local area, or if you live here, definitely contact me, Jacqueline Bell. And if not, there's many resources online, but no matter what, you already know how to do this. It's within you. Find a comfortable place, put down a towel. You don't need a yoga mat. Sit, close your eyes, breathe. Hey, uh, Jackie, Batman told us that you were uh, doing some training and working with kids in, in other areas too, amazing kids. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, one of the things that you guys will see in the future is my awesome aerial yoga swing. And I have a friend who has a son that is autistic. And the swing is extremely therapeutic and essential to his attention and learning. So things like that that I'm into as well and other people have been studying for a while are now coming around more frequently. Well, you know, Jackie, that and just gives me an thing. idea that we are presenting a lot of this, right? Perhaps the, the two of us can correspond on a program where we could get some children in and bring in a program, right, through the American Hearts Radio and give them an example on our network. Yes. What do you think of that? Yes, yes. Would you Definitely, be willing? Definitely, yes. Uh, I know a lot of great oh, kids here. Yes, uh, you know, and I just want to encourage our people out there and our kids, right, to tune in to American Hearts Radio and the amazing kids of the world that I'm going to be presenting to you and now Jackie's show, right, and many more programs that we're bringing to you on American Hearts Radio, Web TV. So, please watch us, watch Jackie, right, and we'll be seeing you soon, okay? God bless America, God bless rock and roll, and the people who guard our shores, we love you and salute you. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching American Hearts Radio Web TV. God bless America. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, this is Johnny Van Zandt. You're watching American Hearts Radio Web TV. <laughs>
and, 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 and absorb everything around them and understand that this is life and we need to live life and love each other. And that's the humanitarian side of yoga and meditation and the karma and all of that comes into play, am I right? Yes, for sure. Yoga is so much more than a physical practice and I would recommend um, studying yoga and the yoga as a whole, not the physical only. And if you have access to a guru close to you or um, some teachers that really are bringing into all aspects of the practice, maybe even go to a training. You don't have to teach yoga to go to a training. You know, when you're done, you can just go and get submerged into everything, the teachings, and this is what makes the difference when you sit and close your eyes. Now, now making a difference, you had mentioned something to me about an article which I had seen before where it speaks about children, if they will would incorporate the yoga and meditation into the everyday scholastic, uh, uh, you know, routines in everyday child school life and take that time and teach children to meditate that if we practice that, 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 that many people believe that that is our major first steps towards global peace. Yes, yes, I truly believe so as well and I think that's a wonderful time to start. I know a lot of people uh, that are older just wished that they could have started at a younger age. So I think what you're referring to is if every eight-year-old in the world meditated and kept on with the meditation through life, it's like a savings bank, a guru once taught me. It doesn't go away. Meditation time is saved and you always have that. So no time is ever lost. Um, that if every eight-year-old in the world meditated, that very soon the world would be a very peaceful place. Well, I pray that a lot, many human beings, you know, in their everyday lives that are running through this rat race, that they just take that moment for themselves to enlighten in themselves and to, to absorb everything around them and, and to really understand that life is very short and we're only here for a certain time and, and we're not here to beat ourselves up. We're here to be happy. For each other. That's right. And, and, and I am so happy that we had this time together you. because you are just such a wonderful, beautiful light. And, and, and you, you remind me of one of my many wives. And, I, <laughs> you know, anyway, I, 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 I hope, I hope to, to see you and, and, and we can do yogurt sometime and yoga. Have um, yogurt and do yoga. Yes, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Anyway, this is Enos Mohammed Baba with my friend Miss Jacqueline Bell. She is so cool. Anyway, Jackie, will you, you. We'll leave this this segment with the? Um, uh, I want you to sing with me. Okay, okay I'll be lead, and you can sing along. This is a lullaby that my mother used to sing to me when I was a little boy. Wonderful. And it goes like this. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 